Hey guys, it's Loose Pro Andrew Upshaw. I'm out here on Fort Gibson today and I'm fishing for bass on Windy Point. So it's the summertime. Anytime you're in a summertime situation, you want to fish where the wind is blowing directly in. You don't want to just fish it where it's kind of sweeping on a point. This is going to push your bait fish, your shad, your bluegill, everything up on that point and make everything active. And you can tell that by picking up typically just a shallow running crankbait, one that dives anywhere between three to six foot of water. And today I'm throwing on BB1 on the big crankbait two rod. So it's a 7-11 rod, but you want that extra length of the rod to make a really long cast. And then I'm just gonna grind that crankbait into the bottom. I want it deflecting off everything because when that wind's blowing, up oh, there's one right there. When that wind's blowing like that, it's blowing the bait fish in there and they're very erratic. So you want something to where you can collide it off of really easy, make really long cast, and you're gonna catch fish. Oh my gosh. He's got me kind of tangled, there we go. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a white bass. See, that's something about that. I mean, whenever you're crazy, you're gonna catch every type of species. And one quick tip, whenever you're grabbing white bass, you're gonna see a really sharp fin right here. Make sure you grab and pinch behind it. And that way you don't get a uh, get finned or get a uh, cut. Let's see. But uh, if you follow those tips, you're gonna put a lot of fish in the boat, especially in the summertime when it gets really hard to catch them. No matter if the white bass, bass, whatever, you'll put more fish in the boat, but make sure you look at that 7-Eleven medium heavy uh, loose crankbait rod. I mean, it will launch that crankbait really far and that's exactly what you need when targeting these flatfish.